welcome back uh, today i'm going to take you through digital skills that you should be proficient and should be efficient in using the, the digital services and devices application and tools even before i proceed remember to subscribe like and share turn on your notification bell so that to get notified of each and every time that you post a new video i'll go straight to the the point uh, what is uh, what is digital skills digital skills refers to the ability and knowledge needed and efficiently uh, to use digital device application and tools uh, in this rapid world that you are living in today uh, we need those digital skills they are crucial for personal for personal use academic and professional success uh, so we need to be equipped with the digital skills that the current world that is evolving each and every day so that we can be able to keep on track on the digital world that you are living in uh, the first one uh, that I will cover is the basic knowledge that is the, uh, the basic computer literacy the basic computer literacy this covers the knowledge of using a computer so that you can be able to use a different variety of computers that is using uh, maybe it using Windows uh, Apple that the Mac OS and the Linux uh, this gives you the proficiency and the efficiency so that you can be able to do your own stuff. That is the basic knowledge of having a knowing how to use a computer. The other one is about internet uh, proficiency. It is about how to know how to do like doing browsing. You can be able to search something online. You can post. You can download. That's the, the knowledge of how to use the internet. But for the understanding, uh, much. Of using website where you can be able to navigate from one website maybe for example you need to do a, a research you know which website you can use uh, where, where can you do downloads where can you do uploads so that's the basic knowledge about the digital skills that you need to be knowing about the other one is maybe about email communication this maybe applies maybe for computer for office uses where you can be able to send mails that's uh, you can be able to send a single email or you can be able to send multiple emails that are go that helps you in the aspect of creating, sending emails, and managing emails also. The, the, the understanding of emails gives you the etiquette to suit in the digital world. Because uh, the digital world is moving where people are using emails to do communication. That's a digital skill that you need to be equipped with. The other one is about the digital tools of communication. That's uh, like the digital apps that you are using. That's like WhatsApp, Telegram, Facebook. Uh, video calling the current era uh, since the COVID came through it, it came with another do of things where you can do zoom meeting you don't need to physically go to an office so the, that's the digital communication tools that you need to be equipped so maybe for other are doing business via whatsapp calls voice call where you don't need to load your your airtime to do the communication so you can use the platform to do communication uh, the other one is about file management in the digital world that you are living in, as a digital skills, you need to be knowing how to manage your files. This is how like uh, organizing files, managing downloads, and how to store files. Let's say using like the cloud storage, uh, there is what we call Google Drive, there is what we call Dropbox. So having that, that skill, as a digital skill, how to manage files, it will help you much in, in data management, where you will be able to cover your data you don't need to have a, a physical storage or booklet or the manual that to store your file so you can store your file online using uh, the cloud storage, the, uh, gym, the Google Drive or the Dropbox. The other one is about uh, presentation softwares. Well, uh, let's say as a, a content creator, you need to be having software that you're equipped with so that you can be able to do your presentation and present them and work on them so that it can make the deliverables easy. Maybe by using like software like uh, PowerPoint, where you can be able to present your work in a, in a spreadsheet, where it is presentable when the data is organized. That's a digital skill that you need maybe to be equipped with. The other one is about social media literacy. This is the knowledge of how to use social media platform for personal use and professional purposes. The understanding comes with the privacy settings and online etiquette. The social media platform it has become a wide known platform where people are using uh, privately and professional or in the digital world. Why you need to be knowing the category that you are 
you are falling in. In the current world, the employers are also checking your profiles, maybe the social profiles. They are also checking how you have been uh, doing your social life previously. So it's an etiquette that we need to be having as a skill. We use it positively uh, in the digital world. So that it can be having a positive impact in your profession or personal use. The other one is about the the softwares that are coming in so that you can be able to cope with the digital world. That uh, falls under the category of coding and programming. Where you need to be having a, a basic understanding of maybe the coding language. Uh, the, the, okay, basically the common language, maybe the programs and the software. These programs and software will help you solve the solution that you need. If you are a edit, you need the software to solve that problem that you need to solve by doing the editing. If you are an analyst, you need a software that will help you analyze data. So in the digital world, that's a skill that is very crucial and uh, you need to develop that in the digital skill. Uh, the other one is about cyber security awareness. The cyber security awareness it gives you the understanding about the cyber security practice and protection of personal and professional data. The, the professional data is where you maybe you are doing a, in an office or you have an office or, or, or a public data that you need to secure. So the digital skills are very crucial about the cyber security awareness where you need to be equipped on how to protect your data exposure and how to disclose personal details. The other one that I want is about the digital marketing skill. The digital marketing skill is in the current world is the knowledge of online marketing strategy. That is include the use of social media. That's a marketing skill or the SEOs, that's the search engine optimization. As a digital skill, you need to be knowing how you can use the online platforms or the digital platforms to do marketing if you are a business person, either as a selling as a product or a skill. It will help you positively, either positively or negatively, depending on how you use the data to help you in doing, doing the marketing. Uh, as a skill, you need to be adaptive and continuous reading about uh, learning about the digital skills. This is a continuous thing being open as a continuous process that the digital world is evolving. You really need to evolve with the digital world where you need to be proficient with the data that is coming in, the online platforms. You need to adapt. Unlike the old days where you used to stick on the manual work or the era that you never used to use the social platforms to do their daily routine. As a consumer of the digital data, you really need to be adaptive to the new skills and it need to be continuous where you need to be knowing and to be learning new skills so that to be to fit in the niche that you are living in. Uh, I think the digital skills I've defined previously or uh, when I was starting, the digital skills I've defined when I was starting is the ability and the knowledge to define or how the ability gives you the ability to use the digital skills, the devices and the application and tools so that to cope in the digital world. Guys, I, I think I've touched the digital skills that you need to be equipped. I hope the video was educative. You can comment in the comment section so that the other topics that I can touch on or something else you need to know from the digital skills that I've left out. Remember to subscribe, like and share.